Jose, did you leave the window open again? There's snow everywhere in the auditorium. We're feeling festive, but that doesn't mean that we can skimp on our studies of the built environment around us. So today we have a quick PE example problem for all of you to get back in the motions of knocking out those problems. Not every problem on the exam is gonna be overly difficult. It's not gonna have you reaching through every code possible and finding everything that you possibly need to find to answer a question. Some of these questions that you'll encounter on your exam are really, really easy. They're one, two, three step problems that you can knock out in 30 seconds to a minute, believe it or not. We have concrete cylinder samples um, that are six inches in diameter and 12 inches high. That's pretty common in the professional world where if your building is under construction, samples of the concrete batches uh, that are delivered to site will be taken in order to test the concrete to make sure that it meets all of the specifications um, that you uh, as the designer specified on your drawings. Um, the number one I'd say is the compressive strength of your concrete because that's what concrete does best and that's what it's doing most of the times on our buildings is taking and resisting compressive forces. So they take these little cute little cylinders here, 12 inches high with six inch diameter. Like I said, that's pretty typical. And what they'll do is they'll, um, they'll bring them to a testing site and they'll test them and they'll, they'll break them and crack them and shatter them. And then they'll take a bunch of readings uh, in order to then compile data to make sure that your specifications are met. They've tested the compressive strength of the concrete. We all know that that factor is F prime C. Uh, we are being asked, based on the above results, the average 28 day compressive strength, um, a unit of measurement that is very, very common in the professional field. That's kind of your baseline uh, stat for your concrete. And that value is given in PSI, pounds per square inch. So that is a compressive stress. Remember, stress is the big takeaway. So we're gonna use our stress symbol, I forget what it is in Greek, and we're gonna give a subheader of C for compression. And we all know that stress equals some force divided by some given area. And it doesn't matter what those units are, it could be anything as long as the units on top is a force and the units on the bottom are an area. I sound like a broken record, I know, but this is the big one for all of you for the PE exam, at least in my opinion, understanding stress. The area is just gonna be based on the cross-sectional area of our tested cylinders. And it was specified above that we had a diameter of six inches. So area is gonna equal pi d squared over four. D is six inches. That gets us 28.26 inches squared. We're gonna use that for later. That is, actually, if I underline this green, that's that part right there. Now let's find force. If we scroll back up here, our three samples gave a uh, axial compressive failure in pounds, so that's a force. But we need to find the average 28 day compressive strength. So we wanna uh, take the average of these three samples above. Force average is gonna equal the following. That equals 66,067.66 pounds. That I'll underline in blue, and that's our average force from our samples. And then from there, to find our stress, we just go that over that. Pounds over inches squared, that's PSI. We know our units check out and we're good, which equals 2,337.85 PSI. If we scroll back up at the top here, we go green for right answers. That is most closely answer C. 2,340 PSI is our average 28 day compressive strength of our concrete. Some quick tips before you leave. Notice that 28 day compressive strength, the word strength was used. So stress was not ever actually specified in the, um, in the problem, but they gave you units of PSI, which is a stress. And tip number two is also above Noticing that not every bit of information the PE gives you is going to be used towards finding the uh, final answer. In this case, the 12 inches, the height of those cylinders, we never needed that. We never used it. You don't need to use everything they give you at all times. So, so don't panic if that happens. And number three, this was a quick and easy example today, and they don't always need to be difficult, like I said at the beginning. That's another big one. Feel confident when you knock out those easy ones and understand that yes, you absolutely got that one right. Not, 
oh, I must have done something wrong because I did it so easily. It may have been a simple one today, but before you leave, remember to like the video if you got something from today's content, if you learned something new, and if you're feeling more confident about being a civil structural engineer. This is Rich with Team Kesteva. Have a very happy and joyous holiday season, whatever holiday you may be celebrating. And until next time, I will see everybody later.